Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. This is Von Shrana, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the Dragon Balls chapter 102 manga that just came out so let's get right into the video dragon ball super manga chapter number 102 following the initial events of goku being shown returning back onto earth as with goku now visibly happy and having to be shown addressing trunks goten and gohan was when goku then went on to respond and i gotta say gohan that burst of key from you a minute ago just now just wow uh huh hey. oh right gohan we'll get trunks saying goku gohan, continuing well, wait goten sorry no not here need a better spot hey i know Oh, come with me to Lord Beerus' planet, Gohan. You can show me That's there. Gohan? Uh, show you, uh, show That's you Gohan? That's Gohan? Exactly. Bro, Your what? New form, of course. I thought that was I Goten. see how strong it is with Gohan responding, uh, in this outfit, though? Well, fine. Uh, hurry up and get changed, then. I can wait, Goku responds. Uh, the ch sure. Well, in the meantime, how's it going, you two? What are you oh, guys that's up Goten to out here? Go with Goten uh, and Trunks responding, uh, well, you know, just hanging out with my favorite brother, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Trunks responds, Hey, I know. Why don't you guys tag along with us? Chi Chi and Chi Chi's and Boomer. Chi Chi and Boomer are not gonna let here. Carmine responds, Hey, pedal to the metal now. We need to make ourselves scarce. So, uh, I, 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 sir, says 15. Well, what do you think? Goten Trunks questions. Well, it could be fun. To which, as soon as Goten and Trunks were from there, shown getting back in the car with Goku leaning on in towards the window, was when Goku then went on to respond, Hey, you might want to wear a seatbelt because I can transport everyone at once okay all right well sorry about that just now but i'm ready dad with goku responding great and so now you get in too gohan to which as soon as goku is then shown placing his hand on the car and having to take the entire car onto beerus's planet oh, beerus. goku is only then shown oh, having to what are they doing this the... just in the middle of Whis being shown having to demonstrate yoga to shilai lemo and broly <laughs> by no means was broly shilai lemo Whis, beerus or vegeta expecting for goku to go on ahead and bring guests as goku then went on to continue hey uh, look who i brought oh, Oh, wow, so this is Lord Beerus's planet, huh? Goten utters with Vegeta responding, Trunks, why have you come here? Trunks, why have you come here? Something like that, you know? Sorry, I can't I can't exactly do uh, Vegeta's voice. I was able to, but kind of, you know, I'm kind of sick, so I can't do it right now. But I know how to do his voice. Here. Um, it, it was uh, G -G -G Goku's idea, Dad. Oh, where are we, Sir? 15 questions. Oh, nowhere familiar, Carmine responds. And so that much I can tell you. With Goku being shown approaching Gohan by then responding, Hey, so I hear that you were the star of the show, Gohan. With Gohan responding, uh, Yeah? Oh, yeah, right. The Red Ribbon Army thing, sure. My well, man just like pulled out with me? the, we might as the well beast spar a little, Just right? like that? With Gohan Without training? Crazy. Spar with you, Dad? Oh, come on. What's the big deal it's been forever anyways right well true enough go on last time they did it so um goku case, knocked out gohan fine. let's do it i'm Something game like on if you are with beerus then having to shout oh the nerve storming onto my planet just to have some fun who do you think you are with Whis having to respond oh what's the harm lord beerus it could be a delightful spectacle you know <laughs> hey so tell me what's this new form of yours goku questions is it like super saiyan 2 or maybe like super saiyan 3 with Gohan responding, nope, it's called Beast. Beast? Cringe! Responds with Gohan continuing, yeah, well, Piccolo named it for me, actually. Neato, right? With Goku responding, and wait, so you can just shift into this Beast mode whenever? With Gohan responding, eh, uh, yeah, actually. You've always told me that I needed to be ready to fight at a moment's notice, and I finally got the message, Dad. And though it was Piccolo who actually went and taught me the trick to get better Piccolo's control, Gohan's real dad, by the way. Wait, he did? Oh, well, he he is like your old teacher after all with Gohan responding well speaking of Piccolo actually he's got a really awesome new form of his own too whoa you don't say well I'll have to go and spar with him next time then man everyone's just been making progress huh with Vegeta chiming in ahem trunks did you prove useful as well uh me y yeah duh I played a huge part <laughs> right go to if you guys don't know, um, Trunks and Gohan turn, um, they did a fu they fusion, and they turn into the fat one, and um, a lot of interesting things happen actually. 
yeah, a lot, a lot of interesting things happen. Ten, right, Goten? Uh, sure, Goten responds. And I wish you could have seen it too, Dad. Just, you know, all of our sick combo moves and stuff. <laughs> so combo moves, Gohan utters, with Goten responding, well, yeah, since we're a team, and when we combine our power, no opponent stands a chance, with Vegeta having to then think for a second by then responding, interesting. Hey, Kakarot, why not go and pick Gohan against these whelps first? Uh, whoa, Trunks utters. Oh, oh no. Well, okay, sure. Oh I no. Guess. Well, at least this way I get a peek at Gohan's power before our actual fight, right? With Goten and responding, Do we gotta fight my brother? Oh yeah, this is perfect, Goten. Let's go and give it a shot, Trunks responds. Oh, yeah, I think we got a chance at taking him down as a team, you know? Well, don't you two sound confident, Gohan responds. Yeah, They're gonna well, get their butt white, so, bro. Trunks utters. Wait a minute, who are they, Broly questions, with Whis responding, well, well, those three would be Goku and Vegeta's offsprings, meaning that Saiyan blood flows through their veins as well. To which, as soon as Goku and Vegeta were hesitantly being shown watching, both Carmine and number 15 were also now shown doing the same, as 15 went on to then chime in. Oh, something's about to go down, sir. Oh, I know, and just keep out of sight for now and don't attract any attention, okay? Yeah, well, Carmine, sir, your hair is pretty hard to hide, you know? I'll just curse this. Carmine went on to then shuffle. Hey, mister. Trunks then went on to suddenly shout, get that camera ready, okay? Uh, you, you bet, 15 utters, with Goku then having to shout, and begin! To which yeah, nah, 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 nah. putting on their helmets in from that point, then shown dashing right towards Gohan. Same it was almost immediately upon Goten time. and Trunks being shown making their way towards Gohan was when Gohan decided from that point to then only use Super Saiyan and nothing more, which really made you stop and wonder as to what Gohan was planning as the boys were making their way towards him, to which is Soon as Gohan was Bro, shown having Go to Gohan can like a smile on his destroy face and Trunks initial attack. and Goten. Goten from out of if he goes beast mode, Gohan thought that it would easily. Be a good idea to catch Gohan off guard, but I don't know why he's going to resent this. Goten know that he was dealing with his older brother Gohan, and Gohan by no means was going to be putting up with any of this, so instead, Gohan was immediately shown having to block off Goten's kick before the two were then shown breaking off and having to synchronize their attacks yet again. But once again, little did the boys know that they're not dealing with any sort of ordinary criminal or let alone any any sort of ordinary person, but instead they attempted to go on ahead and cyclone their way down in doing what they Bro, assumed Gohan's would be the best, one who took to down bring Cell. Gohan down and beating him in battle, but instead it was only just as Gohan went on to leave. Wait, hold up, was it Cell or was it Frieza? I don't remember. It's been so long. I don't remember. Was it Frieza or was it Cell? I don't remember. The error of their ways oh no! So disappointed on myself. Which had only from that point left the others completely embarrassed and having to see what their sons were doing during this entire engagement, because even despite what the others now having to acknowledge this was when Goku then went on to chime in. Now, oh, well, those boys tend to always make a lot of unnecessary movements as an annoyed Gohan then went on to respond. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you guys? Don't cover your heads. It only makes it harder for you guys to see your opponent's movements with Trunks and Goten responding. Oh, damn, but it makes the costume look really cool. I mean, Gohan should not be the one talking, you know? Goten responds and let's just fight him normally with Gohan responding. Good, that's better. To which moments later, as soon as Goten and Trunks were from that point then shown transforming into Super Saiyans. This was the first time, mind you, that Broly had ever seen Goten, Trunks, and Gohan simultaneously transform into Super Saiyans as Broly then went on to respond, What? Can everyone just turn Super Saiyan at will? With Whis responding, Well, yes, that does seem to be the case with most of the Saiyans on Earth, with Broly uttering, I see. In which most. this was now beginning to look a little different because despite the fact of both Super Saiyan Trunks and Super Saiyan Goten having to double team go on at the exact same time, it would only now seem as though whenever Goten and Trunks decide to take anything seriously is when they tend to work better with each other than having to go about by utilizing their superhero personas and having to stop crime, because the very moment Goten was shown knocking Gohan away with Trunks trying to follow up by blasting Gohan with a few energy blasts, it had only now become clear as day that the boys do in fact tend to work better together when indeed they actually are serious about combat rather than having to portray their Saiyan Man X1 and Saiyan Man X2 personas. <laughs> Because even despite with Gohan being shown avoiding Trunks' energy blast while at the same time avoiding his brother's strikes, what Gohan inevitably tried to do was bait both Goten and Trunks in having to follow him straight towards Beerus' gigantic treats, which even as he did, Goten and Trunks did not let up by still continuously being shown attacking Gohan despite nearly crashing right into Beerus' tree, which thankfully enough, the moment Gohan flew upwards with the boys then having to follow him, Gohan had then quickly acted upon having to use the environment around him to his advantage in swinging on over by using one of 
of the branches and knocking trunks away. Bro, my man has, has like IQ of like 4,000. He has 4,000 IQ. Punching Goten down. Gohan did not seem as though he was having any He's sort of issue by and a super saiyan two by himself. To which, even despite him being shown letting off a few energy he blasts, with the two energy blasts being shown going right through their bodies, what Gohan was not expecting to happen was Gohan was not expecting for the two to use the after image technique, and from there being shown having to come up from behind Gohan yet again. To which, instinctively enough, with Gohan barely being shown having to move out of the way with Goten and Trunks being shown crashing back down, it only had now looked as though Gohan was genuinely proud by Come seeing on, the hit him with a Kamehameha. to put in some effort as Gohan then went on to respond, Wow, well done you two, I can see that you've been training and I always thought you guys were just playing around, you know? Well, heroes have to be strong, you know, Goten responds, with Trunks being shown dashing towards Gohan by then uttering, Yeah, and that's cause to which even with Trunks being shown engaging back and forth and even going as far as to grab onto Gohan's punches and having to keep them locked in place was when it now had only looked as though Trunks was comfortable enough in his Super Saiyan form to go as far as to handle Super Saiyan Gohan by himself, as even while locked in a stalemate with Gohan was when Trunks then went on to finish, well it's like I said and that's cause there are people that I want to protect, with Gohan responding, oh is that so? As immediately there before you know it with Gohan then shown having to throw Trunks on down with Goten yet again for the third time trying to sneak up behind Gohan, Gohan was shown having to yet again Come move on, out Goten, of the way you can be onto Goten's leg and from there shown having to throw Goten right back down where Trunks was, which was also another indication that even despite with these two having a very small slight advantage by having the numbers game over Gohan, Gohan still as a Super Saiyan was strong enough to handle them by themselves as Gohan then went on to respond, well in that case count me in too, as with Gohan then shown transforming into his ultimate form, that was when Goten went on to then utter, hey Trans Transforming into ultimate is cheating! Uh, what? What's ultimate? Gohan went on to question, with Goten responding, Wait, seriously? It's the name of that transformation, Gohan. We didn't know what to call it for a long time, and so, well, we came up with one ourselves. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, I don't really get it, with Goten then questioning, Oh, the why? Isn't it cool? Hey, Goten, if that's the case, then let's power up too by using fusion. And I'm Did talking it, about fusion fusion. <laughs> with Gohan questioning fusion well didn't you guys fail that before yeah but well we practiced after that and so we won't fail now hey old man make sure you're recording okay trunks utters with soldier okay, number 15 okay. responding uh, d d y yes sir all right you ready fusion with Goku then having to utter oh, oh no look look they seem to still remember Vegeta oh but no they messed not up quite. because they messed only up seconds later through the blinding light that was beginning to shine on through to everyone's disappointment and utter shock. <laughs> so, to get the perfected variation of the young adult version of Gotenks, we instead now revert back to fat Gotenks instead, as the run-on gag for the boys in having to either misremember or continuously mess up the fusion seems to be a common trope with them, as even with Gotenks themselves having to acknowledge that yeah, they're fat again, that was when Goku went on to chime in, oh man, they failed. Oh, you still couldn't do it right, Gohan utters, with Gotenks having to then Oh, damn it! Well, I've got no other choice than to go in with this. Uh, hi oh, no. But just as you expected for this battle to go, this was by no And then means Gohan played soccer go -tanks with go -tanks. Because before you know it, in one literal strike with one singular kick to Gotenks' face, what Gohan inevitably ends the up face. doing is one shot in Gotenks across the field and having to land near Beerus' tree, which once again also went as far as to kind of give us the notion that Ultimate Gohan is is stronger than a misrepresented fusion at least thus far because for Gotenks now that was all she wrote with Goku then having to respond whoo man well that settles it I guess with Gotenks uttering I Such damn I nonsense. lost <laughs> oh, the, what a waste Vegeta utters well all right Goku says my turn's next all right dad thank you so much with Broly having to look on surprised by them responding and so now it's Goku with Gotenks quickly running towards the Red Ribbon Car by then having to shout, Hey, hey, can you please delete that footage where I just lost the battle? Just delete it. Just delete it all. To which, respectively enough, just before their initial engagement with both Goku and Gohan now shown having to bow towards one another and giving the other respect, by no means was Goku looking to waste a single second in this battle, but by instead having to jump to his power, to which as soon as Goku was shown having to go from his base level and jumping straight into Mastered Ultra Instinct was when Gotenks went on to then chime in, Whoa, 
That must be ultra in Yo! Off the bat? And so now let's not waste any more time and jump into our final forms, Gohan, with Gohan responding. Right, Dad. Understood. With Beerus having to then chime in. <laughs> we Goku's oh, this is exciting. instinct is his strongest technique, right? Why, yes, it seems like it least responds. To which as soon as Gohan then was shown having to close his eyes and almost looking calm, cool, and collected similar to that of his father, we then begin to see a very intense gust of wind begin to circle Gohan's body as Gohan from there was beginning to channel all of the energy within him in going as far as to relax himself just before the point of having to unleash this festering storm that had been brewing within him as before you know it the moment Gohan suddenly went on to open his eyes similar to that of how he did against perfect cell in Dragon Ball Z and cell max in Dragon Ball Super Gohan from there immediately erupts in an explosive fit of rage and channeling everything he has from within him now onto the surface and from there giving way and finally introducing his beast form before a large audience to see for the very first time with beast Gohan Damn. standing ready for battle against Master The name's kind of cringe, but it's pretty cool. Also having to leave Goku completely baffled, as even with both Goku and Vegeta taken back by the sudden storm of energy that was beginning to slam right into them, was when Vegeta then went on to respond, Th This is... Whoa, now that's one hell of He said, of this is the beast for Incredible Goku responds. Look, he he's back to that same look that he had before, Carmine responds. Well now, didn't I? tell you that you might see something interesting we went on to then question Beerus oh, no. with Gohan then responding alright dad now let's begin with Goku responding yeah I've been looking forward to this and so now let's do it to where with both Gohan and Goku now being shown getting into fighting position with Vegeta having to look on with a grin on his face that was when both Goku and Gohan were from that point then shown dashing right towards each other and not wasting a single second during this moment because this very matchup in and of itself was going to be a decided factor in having to determine on which one of the two between Gohan and Goku was going to be the strongest warrior in which moments before having to clash with Gohan and Goku oh no something that happened in demonstrating tremendous amounts of speed in the sky it was only just upon their initial engagement with the two going back and forth with such intensity that it only prompt everybody to look up in absolute awe one could only go as far as to imagine the level of speed in which these two are actually fighting in currently because it was only just upon their battle now beginning to take place as the entirety of Beerus's plan it was now beginning to tremble and essentially have massive parts of the planet be destroyed under the tremendous pressure and shock waves that were now beginning to emanate from this very battle. The ongoing spectators that were watching this, such as Sheila and Lemo, were lucky enough to have Broly by their side and having to protect them from flying off the planet. Hey, look at your time. Both Soldier Number 15 and Carmine, who were coincidentally enough saved by none other than Fat Gotenks, as it was only just when Carmine was beginning to thank Gotenks as Broly kept on looking up towards the sky, was where you can see it upon Broly's face that he was mesmerized by this very battle to which as soon as Beast Gohan was shown engaging against Ultra Instinct Goku, neither of the two warriors looked as though they Bro. were gonna falter from this position anime is gonna be crazy as though they were worried, concerned, or when this turn, when this, in like, this what it called but instead gets it turned into anime as they were fighting it's gonna be crazy, animation is just gonna be crazy instead of having one completely overpower the other, which from that point once again had only transitioned in Goku and Gohan moving at such rapid speeds to which once again had only only one as far as to create another shockwave of storms that even went as far as to have Whis create a barrier around the spectators watching, to where even with Beerus having to observe this as he was patiently watching up above in the sky was when Beerus went on to comment, Whis, why yes, Whis responds, as this barrier was very much well needed because as of course you guys can see with Gohan and Goku battling very intensely up in the sky, the amount of sheer force that was beginning to rain down all throughout the landscape below was beginning to become a very big danger to everyone that was currently there but even thus nevertheless a very telling battle between the two so Yo, far this is because crazy. as soon as we transition on outwards and seeing the trees be blown away off Beerus's planet Yo. and seeing the water be blown away off Beerus's planet neither Gohan or Goku once again seem to be letting up against the other because still even this now is they crazy bro fighting Gohan did not even train for this crap this comes at the cost of Beerus's planet completely being destroyed which is very rare to see happen, kind of like my man just awakened his shining gun kind of like that you know saw his daughter in danger and he was like shutting him and just woken up his mangyaku shutting on his own 
falling back down and having to then dragon take a look balls, at the uh... entire ravaged landscape from above, it's almost incredible oh. to see the level of damage oh. that Gohan and Goku had done on Beerus's planet thus far, while mind you having to fight very casually, as Goku then went on to respond, All right, Gohan, let's keep this going, with Gohan responding, Right. As Beerus then went on to chime in, Roads to those guys, look what they've done to my planet! As it was only right then and there now, during that moment, where Dragon Ball Jeez. Super Manga Chapter number 102 then comes to a close. Alright guys, um, that was just pure art. That was amazing. That was just one of the best manga chapters that I've re ever read in my whole life. Um, I have read a lot of manga in my life, especially, you know, Detective Conan and stuff. But um, back to the point, it was amazing. And uh, the original video is going to be in the comments down below. So please go check it out and uh, show some support to them. And before I end this, uh, if you guys want merch, please let me know in the comments down below. Or you can just go to my profile, click on Instagram and just, you know, DM me over there. Or you can go to the stories and just vote there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.